So here we are at the end of the week, and we've discovered that a lot can happen in a single day. And what a day it's been. The day starts off with the disciples doing the one thing they do best. They love themselves more than they love anyone else on this planet. And the difference between themselves and their master is unmistakable. Despite the fact that they've spent three and a half years with Jesus, they fail to learn the most important lesson of all. That if you want to be the greatest in the kingdom of God, you have to love others more than you love yourself. But they were so busy trying to be great by Jewish standards that they failed to learn the greatest and what greatness is by heaven's standards. So there they are, all 12 of them in a room and nobody but nobody is going to wash another person's feet. With their eye on the prize of being Jesus' right-hand man, nobody was going to admit that by Jewish standards that they were not the most important person in the room. With position and power on the line, the one position they would not take was that of the lowly servant. Then there was Judas, whose love for money, power, and position was greater than his love for Jesus. Oh, don't get me wrong. He professed to love Jesus. I mean, after all, he simply wanted to put Jesus in a situation where Jesus would have no choice but to do battle with the Romans. After all, imagine what would happen to the Romans if they actually made the mistake of attacking Jesus. Never in his wildest dreams did Judas imagine that instead of fighting back, that Jesus would surrender to his enemies. That night we see Jesus in prayer while the disciples are in their dreams. Three times Jesus asked them to wait with him, and three times they failed to be there for Jesus when he needed them most. Three times that night the Father would say no. Three times his disciples would fall asleep, and three times that same night, Peter would deny him. And the next day, with three Roman nails, they would pin Jesus to a cross. You see what I mean? A lot can happen in a day. But wait, there's more, because Friday's coming, and on that day, well, you'll just have to come back next week, as Cynthia leads us in next week's lesson, Tried and Crucified. I know you won't want to miss it. Well, those were our final thoughts and nuggets for this week. Now we want you to take some time again this week, this Sabbath, to visit your local Adventist church and share with them some of the things you've learned this week about how much can happen in a day. Again, on behalf of all of us here at Sabbath School Nuggets, thank you for joining us this week. Happy Sabbath to come, and we'll send you, see you again next week. 